morning good morning welcome to nunu amo ma sho good morning good morning welcome to nunu amo ma sho good morning welcome to nunu amo ma sho a primus read you my name is nunu and i have my mommy here with me mommy my friends are waiting for you Hello Nunu's friends, good morning. How are you doing? They are fine. Mommy, I have a story for you and my friends this morning. The title of my story is The Naughty Boy. There lived a very naughty and stubborn boy named Chinedu. Chinedu lived with his auntie and uncle in the village. He loved going to the field to play football every evening with his friends. I told you that Chinedu was a naughty boy because he loved taking things that doesn't belong to him. His auntie and uncle have warned him several to stop stealing and each time they warn him, he will cry, I'm sorry auntie, I promise not to steal again. But the next day, Naughty Chinedu would steal meat or a big fish from his auntie's pot of soup. One day, Chinedu's auntie wanted to cook vegetable, delicious vegetable. But she now remembered that the salt in the house had finished because if you want to cook vegetable, you have to put salt there. Yes, you have to put salt. Chinedu's auntie now called Chinedu to buy some salt for her from the market. She gave Chinedu some money. And as Chinedu was going to the market, he met some bad boys. And those boys called him and said, Chinedu, how are you? Do you know Mr. Ade, the rich man in the village that has lots of fruits in his compound? Do you know he traveled yesterday? So let's go to his house and jump over the fence and pluck lots of fruit from his compound. <laughs> Instead of Chinedu, you tell them that me, I'm not going to Chinedu said, okay, because Chinedu was a naughty boy. Chinedu went with them. When they got to Mr. Ate's house, they climbed the fence and jumped into the compound. After jumping into the compound, Chinedu climbed the mango tree and he told his friends that he will climb the mango tree so that when he's plucking the mango from the tree, he'll be throwing it down and his friends will be packing the mangoes into their bags. As Ade was plucking the mango, he was humming to himself. He was happy. Do you know what happened? Hey! If you know what happened, you will feel sorry for Chinedu. Chinedu and his friends did not know that Mr. Ade had a big dog in the compound. As Chinedu was plucking the fruit from the tree, I was saying, That was how the big dog, Bingo, came into the backyard and was barking. The other boys saw Bingo the dog. They ran quickly and jumped over the fence. Chinedu was still on the tree, human. When he had the dog back, Chinedu jumped down from the tree. As Chinedu was about to run away, the dog just jumped on Chinedu and he gave him a big bite on his leg. <clears throat> Luckily for Chinedu, he managed to escape and jumped over the fence. But his leg was bleeding. When Chinedu got to his auntie and uncle felt sorry for him. And he was crying and he promised not to steal again because he's, he was in a lot of pain. And blood was coming out from his leg. His auntie and uncle then took him to the hospital where they treated the dog bite and gave him 
lots of injections in his black bonbon. Tinodu learned his lesson. I promise not to steal again. That is the end of my story. Mommy, what did you learn from my story? Please tell my friends. No, no. I love your story. I learned three lessons from your story. Lesson number one. Stealing is very bad. It is bad to steal. Number two. Do not be friends with bad boys and girls. They will get you in trouble. If Chinedu had not been friends with those bad boys, he would not have followed them to Mr. Ade's compound. And the big bingo the dog would not have beaten his leg. Third lesson, it is wrong to go into other people's houses without their permission. Yes, I hope you learned one or two things from my story, my friends. Now, Muna is waiting for us to read Proverbs and the meaning for us. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. You cannot eat your cake and have it. This means if you spend the time you ought to use for studying to play games on the phone, that time is forever wasted and gone. Welcome back. I hope you learned a new proverb and the meaning. Mommy. Yes, no, no. Do you have anything to tell me? Mommy, I miss my friends. And I know my friends miss me too. When are we going back to school? I want to go back to school. We've been at home for a long time. We've been at home for a long time. I want to go back to school. I miss my friends. My friends like Israel, Peter, Paul, Moya Serelua, Blessing, Greatness, David, Flourish, Blossom. No, no, I know. You miss all your friends. So I know you have lots of friends. You have many friends and I know they miss you too. And I'm very sure they are missing you too. No, no, I have to tell you something. Okay, mommy, is it that we are going to school tomorrow? Are we going to school on Monday? Sorry, are we going to school on Monday? Are we, mommy? No, no, I know you miss your friends at school. And I know they miss you too. But do you remember I told you something about COVID-19? Yes, 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 that bad uh, COVID-19. The bad virus that is going all around the world. Mommy, is it not because of this COVID-19 that I've been washing my hands every 30, 30 minutes with soap and water? It is also the reason why I put on my face masks anytime people are around me. Yes, no, no. The people in charge of taking care of bad viruses like COVID-19 are working hard to get a medication that will kill this COVID-19. But until they do so, you will have to stay at home, including your friends. The government and we, your parents, do not want to put you, our beautiful children, in danger because we love you. I love you too, mommy. Okay, I will stay at home and not go to school for now because of this dangerous COVID-19. Oh God, protect our daddies, our mommies, our brothers, our sisters, and our extended family from this bad virus. Thank you, mommy. Very soon, I'm sure very soon, you will see your friends and you will not resume school and you and your friends can play with each other. Okay. All right. Lucha is waiting for us with the safety tip for the week. Let's join her. Safety tip for children. Do not do anything that makes you uncomfortable, such as removing your clothes in front of people. Safety tip for parents. Parents, do not force your children to do anything they are not comfortable with, such as having their holidays with people that they are not friendly with. Welcome back. I hope you learned the safety tip for the week. Our parents too. I hope you learned your own safety tip for the week. We have come to the end of the program today. If you have a question for me or comment, please leave it in our comment section. And if you want to talk to me on my mommy's phone, you can call me on 080 
1548 and you can also follow us on all our social media platforms at Primus Media City. Until next time, see you. Bye bye, mommy. Yes, bye bye. We love you. Yeah, we love you. Bye. This is a production of Primus Radio.